Arvo, I'd like to introduce you um, as one of our clients here. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to the people uh, about what the heck this program is all about, because there's so much misconception about what health is and how we do things. But I appreciate you, number one, saying yes to coming through the program and your results have been stellar. They've been amazing. And, and I know that you, you're married to Benita. You married her. I know you're, you're moving from Hawaii to Colorado. I know you've got some grandkids and you're an active guy. I mean, at 64 years old, um, I love the fact that you said, yes, it's never too late to learn what we're doing here. So, you know, maybe you can update people a little bit as far as like when you, you and I talked the very first time, what were you struggling with? Um, at that point in time, based on your military life, that you're a runner, that you've done a lot of things, but you were struggling. Maybe you can tell them what you were struggling with before we met. Yeah, I was just, um, you know, gradually gaining more weight and uh, didn't didn't see a way to to manage it um, and was feeling kind of kind of blah and just heavy and uh, had this family move going on and and. Uh, reached out to you and here we are trying to make it happen and it, it worked and you were used to being fit and so you weren't real happy about your height I, I know your height's five seven and at the time we talked you were like 165 somewhere in that range which was not acceptable to you okay and i know that and i know there's certain ways what what other ways did you feel coming into this program what was out of whack compared to what you had been dealing with your whole life because you're a pretty fit guy and you had been active your whole life what were some of the things you yeah. were I, I just felt lazy. You know, I, I didn't feel focused and I just didn't have um, in, any drive to, to manage my, my little bit of overweight. Um, I didn't like my appearance. You know, I had a pudgy little belly. I was getting a little old man belly. And, um, it just didn't look good in public. You know, I was having to buy larger clothes, so I looked thinner. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you and I chat. And then what were some of your concerns about, and the program's obviously called Fit Dad Syndicate. We got a lot of moms in here too, just to let you know, but we don't call it that because we're a bunch of guys that are trying to become better, but there's a lot of women because God designed our bodies very similarly. But when you and I first talked, what were some of the concerns you had about maybe coming in this program? Um, you, you know, the, the, the usual dietary program concerns, like would I be able to stick with it? Um, would I would I have the the drive to um, get it done correctly, and and would would I would I be able to continue it, and and not make it uh, you know a short term thing to where I'm going to get off the program and gain the weight right back. So those are the biggest concerns. So sustainability, like we always talk about, what does sustainability mean? And our guarantee that you could do it till you're a hundred. And that you're going to live in an eight to 10 mood meter. People don't know what the heck that is, but that you're going to live in a satisfied state while you're on your way to your goal. So maybe you can tell people, number one, did we fulfill on that? And number two, what were your specific results? Because people like to hear specifics about what the situation was and where you ended up. So, yeah, so we're right here, uh, really close to week 16. Um, I weighed today 136. When I started in, in mid-December, I was uh, 164, 165 daily. Um, and I, I had been checking my weight daily, you know, so I, I could see it gradually creeping up. Um, and, and so I'm, 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 I'm so happy with the results, you know, to, to be here today. Um, I'm wearing medium-sized clothes again for, you know, a small man like me. Um, I'm looking great. I'm feeling great. Um, and my and my wife has joined, you know. She's already lost twenty five pounds. Wow. So so you know we're all we're, we're both working this together, and it's just been it's been a godsend, you know. It really really has. The cool thing is your wife didn't pay me a dime, and nor should she because well, you. That's the point of it. You're supposed to be able to help your family. Yeah. Learn about how God designed our bodies to operate, how they really operate. And the bigger picture, we care about our clients, Arvo, a lot, obviously, you know, because you're coming in here and you're paying and you're investing money to actually have a transformation. But our favorite testimonies are from the wives and the kids and the brothers yeah. and, the aunts and the people that we impact. So it's really cool that you're that Benita was impacted by this also. Yeah. Really yeah. Cool. And, and and she's so proud of me being able to get this done. And of course, you know, I, I'm super proud of her for even you know, getting into the lower level. She's, she's not as 
um, meticulous with it as I am, but she has still been able to perform to the level and, and you know, she's losing weight and clothes are shrinking just, just like me. So it's working both ways. Yeah. Sure. Very cool. So you mentioned you mentioned earlier in this conversation about the sustainability aspect as being something that, you know, you hope it's right. You hope we're not lying to you. You hope it's like, okay, I hope what they're saying is right. And you come in and you step out in faith, you know, because yeah. that's what we do. Um, but so do you think what you've accomplished in Fit Dad Syndicate and, you, and you're 65 now or are you 64? I'm 64, oh, 65 so in May. Okay, so is this something you think you can maintain for the rest of your life? Because we do offer that commitment that you you have to be able to tell us at the end of your program that you can maintain what you accomplished till you're 100. Is this something you really, truly think you could do forever? I, I do, because, you know, there was nothing extreme with, with the process. It was just about managing um, goals and expectations and having a little bit of dedication to make it happen. Um, one of the key things that always is in my head is, is be that 1% better today, you know, try 1% a little bit better, anything, everything, and you're going to succeed, you know, just by trying a little bit more. So that really, really helped me lock that in. And you were a master fitness trainer in the military. So it's not like you came in here ignorant. I mean, you knew a lot, you had done a lot, you were running extended races, and do you feel like you really, truly knew what fitness was prior to coming in? I know you thought you did, but do you think like, you know, most people I hear a lot of people are will say, I know what to do. I just need to do it. Um, I need to be more disciplined. I need more accountability. And my challenge to people is, no, you don't know what to do. You have no clue what to do. And what you're thinking you have to do is a story in your head that's not true. And so nobody even starts on the journey. Do you think there's truth to that based on your experience previous? Because you had some experience. Yeah, no, that is definitely true, you know, and that's that's why I went into this with an open mind. I, I know that there's so many institutionalized processes out there that we all think is the proper way to lose weight and, and the, the proper balance between nutrition and exercise. But until you put it in practice and you understand the concepts that you shared, it's 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 not even close to what's, you know, um, marketed these days to, to most of Americans. Sad. It's kind of sad because nobody even gets on the journey to start it because they have right. a big notion, you know? So what would you say to somebody, Arvel, that's sitting here looking at this going, I wonder if this is BS. I wonder, you know, the fitness industry blows and I get it. I really understand that with people, but what would you say to that person that's sitting here watching this thinking, eh, I don't know, man, I kind of hope it works, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. What would you say to them? Well, I, I would say trust the process, you know, take a take a step uh, on faith. This is not a hugely marketed program. Um, it's very personal. It's one on one. And if you got questions or concerns, the coaches and yourself answer them immediately, you know, to to make sure you understand what's going on and, and the um, process to get to your goal uh, and and. I know you deal with multitudes of, of goals and desires, and but the focus is, is, is all the same because we all are basically the same um, organism, right? We're, we're the same humans. And so things tweak between people, but the basic overall concept works, you know, and just, just gotta have a little faith, step out there. Uh, we appreciate you saying yes and stepping out in faith. And you've just been such an awesome part of the community, um, really. And we're very blessed to have you as part of the community also. And I appreciate, you know, in your mid-60s to be able to stand up and say, yeah, there's something I don't know here. Like, what the heck? I need to figure it out. And it's never too late to figure it out. So I, I right. so much respect the fact that you stood up and what you represent. So you are an ideal client, dude. I just tell you, and I appreciate you so much. And, uh, and I thank you so much for letting people know what your experience was. And if you have, if anybody would like to 
understand a little bit more us you're above here or below here somewhere there's a link where you can either book a call if you're looking with us and find out for yourself you know and step out and i do these short calls with people like four to seven minutes so people can understand a little bit about what we do and i can find out their goals so feel free to book a call with us um, we look forward to talking to you and arvel i know we're going to be seeing you around because once you're part of the community you never go away so it's been a pleasure thank you so much thank you chuck appreciate it